Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, circle with the center O oh, fully inscribed uh, in a blue square uh, DEFB, as you can see in this given diagram. And in turn, this uh, blue square DEFB is uh, being inscribed uh, in a quarter circle with the center B as well. And as a result, we are ended up with these uh, two green shaded regions. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded circle has been given to us as uh, pi centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the green shaded region area, this area and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded uh, circle whose area has been given to us as pi centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate uh, the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle. Let's label the radius uh, of this circle as uh, lowercase r. So we are going to find the value of lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi times uh, r square where r is the radius. And in our case, uh, the area of this yellow circle has been given to us as pi. So therefore, I can write this one as uh, pi times uh, r square equals to the area is uh, pi. I'm going to divide both uh, sides by pi to isolate uh, r square. And here we can see our uh, r square value turns out to be equal to 1. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle uh, lowercase r turns out to be one centimeter. So thus the radius of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be one centimeter. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, these uh, points of uh, tangency m and uh, n. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. The centers and the point of tangency are uh, collinear. So no wonder these uh, points of tangency M uh, and N and this center all lie on the very same line. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder these angles, this angle and this angle are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, this uh, is our radius and these are our tangent lines. And now let's make an observation. We know the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle uh, is uh, 1. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, diameter uh, of this yellow circle, which is Mn, is going to be 2 centimeter. And furthermore, we can see that this uh, side uh, Bf is equal to this uh, diameter Mn. If this is uh, 2 centimeter, then this uh, Bf uh, side is going to be to centimeter as well and since we are dealing with this uh, square uh, DEFB that means uh, this side uh, BF is going to be equal to this side uh, DB if this is 2 then this uh, DB side is going to be 2 as well and in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, these points uh, D and uh, F as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DBF. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, this diagonal uh, DF uh, is the hypotenuse, whereas uh, these uh, are our two legs. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, two square plus likewise uh, two square equal to df whole square. In other words, df square is going to be equal to 8. And now I am going to undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore, our diagonal df length turns out to be 2 times square root of 2. So thus this diagonal df length turns out to be 2 times square root of uh, 2. 
and now I am going to connect uh, this uh, center B with this uh, point E as well as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's make an observation we can see that we are dealing with this uh, square uh, D E F B and both of these are the diagonals if this uh, diagonal D F is 2 times uh, square root of 2 then the diagonal uh, B E is going to be 2 times square root of 2 as well and now let's make an observation once again we see that this uh, diagonal uh, B E is actually the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle as well so therefore uh, the radius uh, of this quarter circle turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, green uh, shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of the big uh, quarter circle minus uh, the area of the square uh, DEFP as you can see in this uh, equation so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle and the area of the square uh, DEFB as uh, well so therefore we are going to calculate the area of the quarter circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again area is always equal to pi times the radius uh, r square and since we are dealing with the quarter circle so the quarter circle uh, area formula is going to be pi times r square uh, divided by 4 and in our case uh, the radius of this uh, quarter circle is 2 times uh, square root of 2 so therefore the quarter circle area is going to be pi divided by 4 times 2 times square root of 2 whole square and now we can see the square of this whole thing is simply 8 and that is going to be equal to 2 times pi so thus the area of the quarter circle turns out to be 2 times pi and now we are going to calculate the area of the square DEFB and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equals to s square where s is the side length of the square and in our case the side length of the square is uh, 2 so therefore this square DEFB area is going to be 2 square and that is going to be equal to 4 and here is our final step let's recall this equation once again the green shaded area is equal to the area of the quarter circle minus uh, the area of the square DEFB and we already figured out this quarter circle area and the area of this uh, square as well let's go ahead and fill in the blank so therefore uh, this green shaded area is going to be equal to 2 pi minus uh, 4 so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, green shaded uh, region turns out to be 2 pi minus 4 centimeter square and that is going to be approximately equal to 2.2832 centimeter square as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye